How's it going, everyone? Happy weekend. Um, I want to go over uh, Stock Plug as I'm seeing a lot of hype on it. It's got a lot of volume. It's uh, it's kind of trending here, and rightfully so, as this stock is going at extreme levels of oversold territory here. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the weekly chart, and you can see the big move down we had. And is this not enough? You know, we're at a high of 75. And we're sitting now at two dollars and like 33 cents on the weekly chart so as you guys know i use the band strategy i look for overreaction plays if it's overextended i short it if it's oversold a lot i'd like to buy it um let's go to the daily here and see where we're at on these uh charts here so like for example right in here as you can see we had a nice earnings play we get close to the uh bottom band here it was, you know, way over uh, oversold, and did we expect it to just go right off the bat right here? You know, absolutely not. But look, the look at the percentage gains this thing made. You know, twenty one percent right here on this one candle, and and went right here to the EMA five. If you guys don't know, I love exponential moving averages. Algos do this to a T, and it, it's like insane. Like you hit the EMA five, and you reject. Hit it again, and then we start going up to the ten. Reject a little, and then the twenty. So, and I want to show you guys this, and, and here's another ex example of us getting really close to the bottom band and then shooting back up. So, how do we know when to buy? Like, yes, we want to see it as close as possible to my ATR4, which is this lower band. It, it is, It works best when you do that, but there's also other ways to play it. I played plenty of stocks that have not hit the ATR4, and it's just based on a lot of time distance. And when I say time distance is... Um, how often have we not hit the EMA 20, which is this light blue band, the EMA 10, and then the EMA 5? If there's really, you know, not a lot of time distance on it, then I probably won't take it, and I'll wait for the ATR 4, which is the average true range of the get in some bias right here. I like to, you know, there's so many stocks in the market. There's so many opportunities, and... um. I even do day trades uh, with my Discord, and I, I use smaller time frames. Like, I'll go to the five minutes, and um, let me see what I see here. And as you can see, like right in here, if price hits the upper band, I, I do look to short it. If there's some time distance on the one minute and five minutes, just like on the daily candle, like as you can see, price has to hit the EMA 5, 10, and 20, and that's what you do. And look at this big sell-off right here. So, um... I would look to see, like, do we ever get a buy in these smaller time frames? Um, and that's really what I would look to see. Not really a buy has, has not pierced the lower band. And you just got to be patient because it will happen. And we want to see an overreaction type of play. And, yeah, it looks like we get close to it. And then we have some nice little rallies here. But as you can see how important it is to be patient. Because even when we get close to it, Look at the rally we have from a low of 280 to 309. That was a very nice gain. Um, now, this one, you really just, yeah. But, yeah, even if it's not penetrating, we don't touch it. So, um, yeah, I'm not really seeing much, guys, on the swing trade uh, type of strategy here. I will say we did try to hit the EMA 20 almost. And um, when we look at the 15-minute chart, yeah, like right in here, we uh, went up from uh, pre-market or uh, before the market. We, we went up a little bit and then it just like tumbled down. So, I'm, yeah, I don't know if there's, you know, really a lot going on here. Uh, we, I recently did start, you know, seeing the trend channel icon uh, someone showed me. I, I'm going to show that to you guys. I think it's pretty nice to see. Um, let's see what we're at here. Um, so right in here, as you can see. You know, you get a little bit above it here and there, and then it goes back to the trend channel. So right in here, if you wanted to play strictly trend channel, you'd be looking at the, like around two two dollars and fourteen cents if you want to do straight that. But um, yeah, I, I'm gonna hold off on this, guys. I appreciate you guys recommending this to me. Uh, this is plug plug power. As you as you can see, we just hit the EMA five. We just hit the EMA ten. So now we have to have time distance on that. And basically, if a candle like, um, for example, what we had here was, um, like for example, this EMA five was hit here, and then this candle right here, as you can see, there's a little gap not hitting the EMA five. So that's one day of time distance. Here's two, three, four, five, 
six, and then we rush up to hit that EMA five. So we went from 230 and, you know, all the way to 252, and then eventually went up here to the 262. So this area right here was not a decent uh, buying zone. And I, what I was saying is you can play the conservative EMA five touch, and that's really what this was here. And you would have made decent gain from this candle accumulation to this candle. So yeah, that's, that's really what I'm seeing here. But now that our daily candle hit the EMA five and 10, I would like to see time distance and our, our best buys are going to be right here at the uh, ATR4. And then another thing I want to see is, yeah, as you can see right in here, look at the, um, if you look at this candle here and correlate it to the KDJ, this was at a 4.62. Um, that is really, really low uh, considering the amount of volume it has, 44 million. This has plenty of volume, so it's going to respect the EMAs a whole lot more than a stock that doesn't have much volume. So as you can see right here, very nice uh, accumulation. I would have definitely accumulated these two candles right in here um, for retouch of this EMA5. And let's just say, let's we'll see what the gains we had here. Uh, let's say we get right at the EMA5 at 248. And let's just say we have a 237. I'm just curious. Sometimes I like to look at, you know, kind of like what our gains was. Obviously, it's not like a really big uh, target here. Um, so yeah, you'll be looking at a really smallish gain of 4%. Um, but if you went all the way up into the 260 range, you can see that um, this would have gave you a little more wiggle room and you would have about 10%. So um, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to like rinse and repeat, this is not a bad one. But now let's wait till we get some time distance, just like this area here. And um, as, because as you can see, we didn't touch the EMA5 for quite some time, and then price has to touch the EMA5. And that and that's kind of like what, what I was doing with some of my other plays. So everyone's in that in my Discord, this is exactly what I'm doing. Yes, it didn't touch the ATR4, but we had a low K on the KDJ. We had some time distance not touching the EMA5. And as you can see, plug touched it because it has to do it. The algos will do it. And it even went to the EMA10 and almost to the 20. So if you guys want to join that premium Discord, know when I enter plug or know when I enter enter an a quality setup because i promise you there's so many setups to look at and um you're going to get those setups please uh j consider join the discord it's one of the best uh we have thousands and thousands of members that recently joined and because it's simple anybody can do this strategy it's very easy to learn as long as you put the effort in you can you know i'll get your charts to look like this um and you'll understand like wow why why wouldn't i buy plug up in here when you should be shorting plug why would i not, not buy plug when it's above the emas up in here and then why would i not buy plug when it's all right right in here it's because there's no time distance you got to wait for that and that's really what it is is waiting being patient and getting that a quality setup um yeah i'm going to be looking at plug um as we can obviously see there's a double bottom here maybe people are interested in that and that's why it's getting hype so that definitely could be the scenario where maybe this right here holds but you know fingers crossed often or not these areas don't really hold um we also have another strong resistance right in this area so um it's kind of like a triple bottom actually you got this bottom this bottom and do we hold this bottom you know so that's actually a very interesting analysis right there all right you guys uh that's that's it for this if you guys want to join the premium discord there's there's a link down below it'll say join the premium premium discord to be a profitable trader um i offer two services guys um when you click when you join it'll take you to this free chat landing page all you have to do is head on over to server shop and i offer the um let me show it right here. The Swing Trading Plus, which is 6 bucks a month, or Day in Swing Trading Plus, which is 12 bucks a month. You get your most value out of that because you're going to get my Day Trade Alerts and Swing Trade Alerts. Swing Trading, you got to be patient. you got to accumulate properly, whereas Day Trading, you're in and at. It's it's fast. It's momentum. It's um, it's exhilarating. You know, it's like on, you're like on a roller coaster, whereas Swing Trading, you're taking a walk. A walk in the park and you're just waiting you're accumulating the dips and you sell the rips i love swing trading i have a very nice record you can see my rtk journal here and you can see how profitable um i've been on my trades i went over 95 percent fingers crossed and i'm trying to keep perfecting and perfecting um you can watch all of my education videos so you can see how i do this and this will get you on track on being a profitable trader you're also going to get alerts sent to your phone so you can know why i take my trades and those are setups that I like. There's a lot of ways to do this strategy. Um, for
For example, this was an EMA5 play only. As you can see, you would accumulate these two candles because their K value is low. You had time distance not hitting the EMA5. What does price do? You hit the EMA5 and it went above and hit the EMA10. May, you know, you've made decent gain in there and, you know, not too bad, right? So uh, that's, that's the purpose of plug. I'm, I am going to wait this one out, guys. I'll update, update you guys when it comes into my buy signal and join the Discord if you guys want to have this system and there's so many good setups in the market right now, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'll see you in the Discord. Like I said, the Day and Swing Trading Plus accesses all my uh, all my memberships, and you get the most value for that for only 12 bucks a month. If you guys liked the video, give it a like, subscribe, comment, and happy weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.